weather forecast for the month of March. Now, please take note that this is a general reading, okay? If this doesn't really resonate with you, then please check your moon risings. Um, my voice is not yet okay right now. I still have cough and cold, so <laughs> I, I need to pause every now and then, okay? So please bear with me for a little bit. Okay, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. I was actually waiting for my voice to be okay, but <laughs> I feel like it's going to be like March already before it gets better. Wow, Taurus. Looks like this is going to be a very victorious month for you. Good news, lots of communications and positivity. Anyway, let's take a look for the uh, rest of the surrounding cards, okay? I will be pulling up more clarifications later on, right after doing all the spreads. Wow. Money coming in. victory double victory this is gonna be a very good month for you Taurus it seems like something that you have been waiting for or something that you have been like anticipating to come in the form of communications will finally be coming <coughs> I'm sorry will finally be coming in this month You know, um, I s and I still have sore throat. Anyway, um, I, I am not really um, minding all this uh, viruses or sickness already because um, if I just focus my uh, energy too much on it, then nothing is going to happen to me. Okay, so life must go on and the show must go on no matter what happens. Oh, a forbidden love. Singles, be very careful with someone that you are dating right now and someone who is not really being true to you. It means that this person is still dating other people or they're still looking for other options aside from you. So don't believe in their false promises, okay? Now, as for for those Taurians who's actually looking for a job change or career change or like a new path, you know, if you still want to pursue another career, another course, or another path, then let's take a look what will be the message of the angels for you. Leadership, light and love, and counseling. All right. Now, let's take a look. Where will the victory be coming from? It seems like for the past few months and few weeks, if life hasn't been that favorable, you know, for you or of your ordeals, it seems like this month you will be granted, you know, those things that you desire, that you wish, and that you are thinking that you should accomplish. Finally, this is the month that you can say that this is my month. Okay, now there are some other people who will be like airing their jealousy, their envy, or their hatred towards you. But whatever happens, keep your heads up, okay, because you are going to be winning. And you just need to learn how to segregate those people that are not really helpful to you and some people who is just causing you a lot of nuisances. They are just, you know, threatened and they just feel insecure of your skills and of your, um, um, natural uh what do you call this um natural spirit you know for being a fighter a survivor and uh you're naturally competitive well 
are also very um, you know smart as well now let's take a look okay if hmm. well, there are some other people that will be um, disappointing you but whatever happens you know you can always start a new foundation you can always start a brand new beginning and you can always rely on your skills and your intelligence on your experiences and on your guides as well okay do not be afraid whatever happens and there is like a very solemn news that you're gonna be you know receiving about somebody who is betraying you you know when it comes to your work but like what I said, that this is a victorious month for you. Whatever happens, you have to fight back because luck will be on your side and justice will be given to you or justice will be on your side. People will always put you down. But always remember that if they don't really see you above them, they're not going to be pulling you down. Okay, so you have to have more faith into your guides and, um, you know, and the... Uh, have more faith into yourself believe in yourself that you can overcome this and that you can surpass this obstacle okay that life will not give you something that you cannot resolve now when it comes to your finances again another victory okay money will be coming in and if you're if you're actually thinking of investing starting a new business or um partnering with somebody who's you know whose business is really thriving fast then yeah this is also the month for you to you know think more about um investing your money for the future and you will be working harder okay there is gonna be another job offer that will be coming your way that you will also love and this is already up to you whether you should consider it or not but you have to be very careful with your decision because it's irreversible okay now if things just look too good to be true do not give in oh, you, you have to analyze and you're good at it okay and do not let this people or do not let this um uh what do you call this um other elements to put you down and to take you away from your um chosen destiny okay but whatever happens money will be light and money will be um very easy to come this month okay now when it comes to your love life there are a lot of things that you have to consider singles if there is somebody that you're currently seeing with right now and it seems like this person is too far from your let's say for example tradition cultures and belief or you speak in in different languages i feel like there are also a lot of things that you also have to consider once the two of you're already together or sitting in a committed relationship or when you're already in a, in a domestic relationship because you know even if you will say that this relationship is only for the two of us or it's only you and me that there will there will always be some outside factors which are the family so this are the things that you have to consider okay in the future now for those who's already married it seems like you are gonna try and make up for your you know for your lost times together there there's also a truth that will be coming out that will de definitely slice you open about a particular betrayal in the past and about the truth that you have been trying to uh, scour okay and it will finally show it will finally come out in the open because um accidentally that you will be stumbling upon an evidence or like um like something of um, like a physical evidence of that either it's a letter it's an address it's a name um a person that your partner has been sending money for or an address that they you know that they used to go or something like that or it could be a picture as well but there is a truth that will be coming out and i feel like you will be forgiving your partner but still you know the betrayal will just keep on lurking over and over again inside your head so I feel like before you make a brand new beginning, make sure that you're already healed and make sure that you've already forgiven each other and make sure that your partner will also be, um, will be worth it of your trust again and not because that, you know, they feel guilty altogether. You will also be moving into a new place or a new house or there will be some changes in your home environment. Now, 
sex life. Singles, as I've said, if you're currently dating somebody right now, if you're currently dating somebody right now, um, did not believe all of their, you know, gestures and especially if they seem too good to be true because I feel like this person that you're currently seeing with they're still dating other people or they're keeping their options open so for you not to incur any disappointment you know that there will be some red flags and you're naturally intuitive on the inside so use that you know use that feeling or do not just um, you know um, do not just uh, oh, what do you call this? set it aside okay this person I feel like is also a little bit perverted because they like it when you're a little bit off guard or they like it when you're in a very odd place okay and I feel like it's uh, breaking the habits and uh, I also feel like there will be some things that you will be you know breaking out of your boundaries or you'll be crossing your boundaries mm, let's say for example that you don't really have sex in the bathroom of a bar or in the bathroom of a like a restaurant, then you're gonna be doing it. Now, when it comes to s when it comes to those who's already married, uh, well, you know to yourself, you know that there is someone else, and that um, it seems like your partner, you know, have changed their style, their kiss, their touch, and the way they perform in bed, and the way you do the sex, and. It seems like they're gonna be a little bit more dominant this time, and you're gonna know, okay, that they are learning some things, some new styles from somebody. There will be some arguments, but I feel like this month will be more hot, passionate, and more, you know, sexual. Uh, you will also be discovering a lot, you know, uh, to your partner that uh, when you were still starting, it wasn't really there. But then. By the end of this month, there will be some harsh confrontations or harsh truth that will be coming out in the open. Okay. Now, when it comes to your health, be very careful with some contaminated food, uh, food poisoning. Or if you are actually in the kitchen, make sure that you will be covering up your food and do not spray some you know, some insecticides or something that is a very harmful, you know, thing. Um, inside your kitchen because I feel like there is a possibility of food poisoning and the uh, food contamination plus parasites vomiting diarrhea and um, some allergy okay that will be coming out plus you also need to take care of your immune system and you need to raise to your higher consciousness uh, there is a possibility of cramping right in the middle of the night and waking up with waking up um with much sweat and palpitations and nightmares okay now if you're looking for a new job or if you're looking for a career change uh make sure that it will be on a leadership or leadership range you know like a senior executive or something like that and uh, you also need to spread the light and love because all of the things that all of the difficulty things that you have gone through in the past you are destined to be a leader and you're also destined to spread some light to those people who is going through the same darkness as you know that you have tracked in the past and counseling you're good in talking you're good in listening and people do listen to you when you talk or when you share your experiences okay so that's one. Now let's take a look at your oracle cards. Um, I can't really um, talk much. I mean, I'm sorry. I can't really talk loud. Because I have to be a little bit careful. Otherwise, I'll be coughing. The entire time. Anyway, uh, practical intuition. Nurture. And heal thyself. Now, as I've said okay you have um like an inane int uh, intuition and don't just shrug it off when you feel like something is hitting you or when you feel like something is nudging you do not um do not set it aside pay attention to it and nurture you also need to love yourself okay and heal thyself 
there are some, you know, like for, for example, what I, what I said, that there will be some past betrayals that you will be discovering, and some of the answers that you have been, you know, waiting for an answer before you actually uh, move to a new beginning or a new chapter. Make sure that you will be leaving your past baggages behind and do not carry it with your you know in your new journey otherwise it's going to be the same all right so anyway that's it for you for this month tours and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you